moving again? We are on the move again. This area is just a little bit too rolly, isn't it? Yeah, it's very swelly in West Bay. The sign said in southeast winds of greater than 20 knots, the bay gets swelly. Well, I don't know that it's greater than 20 knots, but it's swelly wind. <laughs> Still not good, yeah. so. No bueno. And where are we headed to now? We are headed to the Whit Sundays. Oh my goodness. Yay! After we've been hearing about these places for so long now. I know, we're jetting up the coast so fast. But we have like um, three weeks until we need to be in Cannes for the rally, or we want to be in Cannes for the rally. So yeah, we're gonna spend a chunk of the rest of our time in Australia in the Whit Sundays, and then at the end of the month, we, it's the like seventh today, and by the thirtieth, we'll be in Cannes at the Sailton Indonesia party. Sweet. Yeah. Wow. We had a 115 mile passage up to the Whit Sundays. That's too far for us to do in one day, so we set off just before sunset for a fast overnight sail. The next day, we found ourselves at one of the most famous beaches in all of Australia. We have made it up to the Whit Sundays. The uh, sail up here was, was truthfully pretty easy, just you know, a nice little overnight one. But uh, we have got some company up here. I think, I think that we have found the Oyster Rally. And I'm not 100% sure if it's the same one we ran into last year or if the one for this year is just ahead of the schedule from last year. Uh, but oh my goodness, there are a lot of boats here and a lot of people on the beach. So I think we're gonna try to get off the boat a little later today and, and go for a walk, but uh, we're, we're gonna go the, the other way and, and try to avoid all those crowds because my goodness, that's just, it's too many people. As it turned out, I chose a more productive plan for avoiding the crowds, crossing a boat project off my to-do list. We're having another bit of a project day today. The water maker is still working, but the kind of parts per million that it's producing is slowly creeping up, and I've noticed a slight decrease in the amount of water output. So uh, what we're going to do is test each of the different membranes individually, and just make sure that both of them are still within specs, and then if I need to, I can uh, isolate one membrane, produce water off of that until we can fix the other one. So we'll go ahead and get started on it. So as you can see, we've got the two different membranes. We have got everything all set up here. So these are kind of the, the raw water flow. It comes in here and then cycles through the other side, comes back out. These smaller hoses, those are the actual uh, clean water output. So I have isolated them so that the, this top membrane will come out this blue hose. The bottom one is going to come out this black one and then we'll be able to separate those, test them individually, and see what the membranes are doing. I wanted to check to make sure that there's no water dripping, and it looks like we're okay. So we're going to slowly ramp up the pressure and start actually making water. Got the generator off, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me talk this time. But I have taken two different samples, one from the membrane on top, one from the membrane on the bottom. We're gonna compare those and kind of see, hope, if, if one is out of tolerance, then maybe we'll be able to use the other one for the time being. But um, yeah, let's get testing. This is the membrane on top. Let's see, can read that, no. Seven twenty. It's pretty damn high. This is the membrane from the bottom. Let's see here. See that? Yeah, it's reading about three eighty. Well, that tells me that one of our membranes is probably gone bad. We, uh, I did previously do a. Uh, chemical cleaning of the membranes using both an acid and a base. Um, I guess that didn't really solve the problem. So 
Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of replumbing, see if we can uh, redo things so that we're producing basically half the water of rated capacity using only the bottom membrane. And then I guess I guess we're gonna need to order a new mem membrane, which that kind of sucks. The membranes typically should last about seven years, but we're pretty hard on our water maker. For example, running it in muddy anchorages isn't ideal, and it can be hard to run the water maker or do a consistent freshwater flush while out on passage, especially in rough seas. I got the new plumbing rigged up, and the next day we went ashore and braved the crowds. We are here at Whitehaven Beach, and oh my goodness, this one has so many tourists. It's Kind Granted, of ridiculous. we're kind of tourists. But. I, I mean, we qualify in that category, but there's like a uh, big catamaran that's bringing people here and stuff. So, and uh, seaplanes. Yeah, it's kind of wild. So instead of walking along the beach, there's Which a little hike packed. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing a hike. And uh, where's this supposed to go? Um, up to a view and back. It's not a long hike, so it's 30 minutes or something. Still nice to get out and just kind of explore a little bit. Yeah. What'd you find? This is a uh, map here. Whitehaven Beach is a 600 meter walk. And Chance Bay is a three kilometer, a three kilometer one. Well, that seems a little longer than half an hour. Yes, so the Whitehaven Beach one is the one she said was a half an hour. The Chance Bay track would be two to three hours for the 6.6 .6 .6 kilometer return. I don't know why I keep wanting to say kilometer. <sighs> Kilometer. Come on, American. God Gosh. damn it. God damn the imperial system. Um, yeah, all right, so we'll keep going that way. That's a nice view. Seems like we found the lookout. We did. What are we looking out on? This is the very south point of Whitehaven Beach. And there's a FP down there that we're pretty sure is a charter boat. A bunch a little of tough to tell out here though. Yeah, and some swimmers and I see a bit of coral I assume at that southern point. View. Well, walk to the other side, and that's not another bad view, is it? Mm, not shabby at all. Wow. There's actually a channel that goes through there into this little bay. Some of these mountains around here, I don't know if they're technically mountains, but they're pretty tall. That one's all like lichen covered. It's in the clouds. It's pretty cool. Half the reason we hiked up to the lookout was that so I could bring Draco and have an excuse to go flying. What do you think of the walk? It's good, it was short. Yeah, a little shorter than we were hoping, huh? Yeah, not sure I'm up for committing us to six kilometers there and back for the Chance Trail, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, we probably have to get back to the boat and have some lunch. Yes, don't want to get me all hangry. I know, David gets so hangry, guys. I know. Rawr.
Time to get on the move again? On the move. Time to go. So, what did you think of Whitehaven Beach slash Bay? It was very nice. We had a nice, relaxing time here, despite the tourism. But it's kind of amazing how many of those cruise ship things came in every day. Oh yeah, twice a day. I had a big old cruise ship come in. Not big old cruise ship, but like a little uh, fa medium sized ferry. So we've gone from ran. big to little to medium size. So like covering the gamut, yeah. I don't know. How many people do you think that thing could fit? 100? 100 plus, yeah. Yeah, okay. So every day they came in twice and unloaded people. And then we had seaplanes coming in, dropping off people, and other helicopters boats, buzzing, helicopters, charter boats. But then, like, everyone would leave, and it was just the charter boats left <laughs> the charter sailboats and power boats. And it was nice. Yeah. And the weather has been really calm. Today is very calm. So we are motoring over to hopefully Chance Bay, which is on the south side of Whit Sunday Island. Which ordinarily we wouldn't get to, but because it's so calm. Yeah, it's so calm, and and if there is any is any wind, it's going to be from the north. So. Yeah, very very rare this time of year, so we better go take advantage of it. Yeah. Amy worries about me getting hangry. I worry about her suffering from a lack of snorkeling. Fortunately. Chance Bay offered us a chance to fix that. Been enjoying hanging out here at Chance Bay for a little while. Uh, the winds have been incredibly light, so and when they are blowing, they're a bit from the north, which this normally time of year they're blowing from the south, and this anchorage would be completely unprotected. So it's kind of nice to get to a chance to explore a little anchorage we wouldn't normally get to. Been a few charter boats in, and yeah, what do you think, babe? I liked it. Though. I did a hike, lots yeah. of paddleboarding. We even snorkeled, guys. Yeah, the snorkeling wasn't that great, but got but the water fun. again. That was kind of nice. So, yeah. yeah, not a bad little spot. When the wind started shifting back around to the south, we upped anchor and headed to somewhere rather swanky. Hamilton Island is right here with all these nice, fancy vacation homes. And that's with Sunday Island. Not and, nearly as good. And we're going nine knots because there are three knots of current shooting us. Which way are we facing? Northwest. Through this just little channel here, huh? Just this little channel. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. I love a little speed boost. Right. We're kind of catching up to the boat in front of us. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not the only one who enjoys a good race. So we're outside the Hamilton Yacht Club? Yes, we're outside the Hamilton Island Resort Marina in the so queue. So fancy. I, yeah, I think this is going to be fancy. Coming in for a night, huh? Just one night. Yeah, a little I celebration, think. gotta see what it's all about. Yeah, it'll be good. Your birthday's coming up, so... It's true, mm. gotta celebrate somehow. <laughs> We pulled into what is the official name of this marina? Hamilton Island Resort Marina. 
It, it's a little bit on the swanky side, gotta be honest, but it's a little bit of a treat because it is my birthday tomorrow. So we've been hanging out, we went up and had a beautiful Ooh, sunset. sunset spot for drinks mm. last night and gonna get out and do a little bit of exploring Hamilton Island today. There were some very gorgeous boats in the marina and the shops on the island were all quite nice. But what I remember most was a boat that was coming out of a building. We've made our way kind of through the town and the shops at the Hamilton Island Yacht Club. There's a little something weird kind of sticking out of the building. What is that thing? Wild Oats. Wild Oats? Yeah. Well, that's a weird name. It's a pretty famous race boat though, right? It is. I'm reading the honor roll here. 2015 fastest time LA to Hawaii. It's a lot of line honors, which I don't really know what that means. Okay, so it means they're the first one across the line, but maybe not necessarily the overall race winner. Oh, because of handicaps? Corrected and times and stuff, yeah. yeah. It seemed a weird way to honor a race boat, but who knows with these Aussies. Later that afternoon, we left the marina and set out for a place to celebrate my birthday. behind us which is nice because the wind is pretty dead yes I can barely even feel it as I'm looking backwards <laughs> yeah so um, we haven't we tried to roll the general out for a while but it's just some not, days you just have to motor yeah not doing much so we've been motoring and we're almost there headed early we're almost early I think that's how you pronounce it early beach very weird. Yeah, It is actually my birthday today. Today is June 16th, since I know you're watching this video a lot later than June, but we are here at absolutely gorgeous Airlie Beach. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly still. There is a market on shore today, and we're gonna go explore some shops, and then probably come back to the boat, have maybe like a movie afternoon, maybe gonna cook, an, cook up a nice dinner for me tonight. It's about the perfect way to celebrate, I think. We have made it ashore, a nice little dinghy pontoon down there. And uh, it's market time, right? It is market time. Just follow the water. That seems to always be the case, just follow the water. <laughs> What did you just find? Dragon fruit. That is pretty weird looking. <laughs> I haven't had it in a really long time. I kept an eye out for something unique to help me celebrate. And sure enough, we found it. Oh, 
you get some sugar, sugar cane juice? I did, I haven't had any in a long time. The lime out from the bottom. How is it? It's basically like lemonade, it's very good. Perfect for a hot day. You ready for some? Yeah. We did the practical things at the market as well. That way we'd be prepared to head out to our last spot in the Whit Sundays, Poke Island. birthday celebration over in Airlie Beach. We are on the move again, heading over to Hook Island. You know, we were expecting sailing with Sundays be, you know, nice, easy, generally relaxing. Oh, well, we found winds that are touching upwards of 30 knots true here at the moment, kind of sailing in between some of these islands. Uh, it's making, making it a little bit rocky rolly at the moment. With winds that high, we didn't feel like going too far, so we picked up a free mooring at Anchor Point for a gorgeous night before moving up to Butterfly Bay at the top of the island. We'd read there was supposed to be good diving up there, and we were finally ready to use our new dive gear. The conditions in the bay were a bit tricky though, as the wind howled through and the current could be quite strong. Eventually, we found just the right moment. Now that I'm interrupting you, uh, how was how was the dive, babe? The dive was good. It was better than I thought it would be. A good first dive. Yeah, that was our first dive together, and we didn't die. Like that's a pretty big victory. Yes. Um, all the gear was good, so that was great. And we dove for like 50 minutes, and we did see nudibranch and a big eel and a big lobster. The stingray, stingray down there too, yeah. Stingray. Yeah, the coral is pretty good here, actually. Yeah. Yeah, way better than in uh, Chance Bay, but yeah. It's good for snorkeling and diving here, really. Yeah, it I wasn't mean, that deep, and we only got down about seven meters. But. Yeah, we didn't dive that far down, but well, it was good. It's a good little practice run. Yeah, and that probably about wraps up our time here in the Woods Sundays, doesn't it? It does. We're going to be leaving tomorrow for camps. Bye with Sundays. I know. Time to start moving on towards Indonesia. The next day, we dropped our mooring and set off for the 290 mile passage up to Cairns.
Hey everyone, thank you very much for checking out our video from the Whit Sundays in Australia. It was such a beautiful part of the country, great place to celebrate my birthday. Kind of disappointed we didn't get a chance to spend more time there, but it was rather important to get up to Cairns and get ready for our sail to Indonesia rally. So that was pretty cool. Uh, as you can see behind me, we are here in the boatyard. We're actually up in Thailand right now. It is bloody hot, but we are prepping Starry Horizons for 2019, doing a few last little projects, getting ready to cross the Indian Ocean, which I am super excited about. So got a lot of good stuff coming up for you guys. Hope you all are having a fantastic holiday season. We'll uh, see y'all next week.